Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week three of the NFL preseason right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, sharing with us all of his great research on all these games and giving us free picks 16 and 9 against the spread in the first two weeks. So, you know, if you parlayed all those you lost, you bet each of them individually, flat bet them, you showed a nice profit, all for free, courtesy of Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. All right, thank you, Peter. All right, before we get into the uh, Giants and Jets game analysis, take a victory lap 16-9 and nine against the spread. Uh, this preseason, you were over 56% against the spread in all of um, the NFL with us last season in our videos. Joe Duffy, go for it. Give a plug for OffshoreInsiders.com. Now, and as you've said uh, quite a few times, they're not actually my best picks. They're games right, that you've right. asked me to take. Yes. In my premium plays, I'm 11-5 and five in the preseason. What's that? It's about 70%. Uh, we did extremely well, not only last year, but the past couple decades. Been doing this a long time. You'll see in the analysis, I work my tail off. College football starts next week, which I'm really fired up about as well. But we're going to have a lot of winners in preseason football this weekend, both here on the videos and at Offshore insiders.com well you know your professional analysis and my amateur analysis tended to agree in weeks one and two here in week three uh we've kind of been on the other side and i appreciate uh, you know all your thoughts i've definitely changed my opinions on all these games this one though giants and jets i have a feeling that uh, we're going to agree on this one right now the line is pick them totals 42 and a half and the giants are reportedly you know having a, a lot of problems adjusting to the new offense they're trying to install eli manning has admitted that himself and he hasn't um, really done that well on the field the jets uh, you know, they're trying to be a more of a defensive team, a more of a run-oriented team. And so I'm thinking that, um, that the Jets are in a little bit better shape. I think we're going to have a low-scoring game here. Um, and so I'm liking Jets pick them and under 42-and-a-half. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Do you agree with either of those picks? No, you are right. We do. We do there agree. Me. I do like the yep. under, even though it's a fairly low total, right. especially for week three of the preseason. But in addition to what you said about the Giants, yeah, they are legitimately struggling and Tom Coughlin's even threatened to play his starters, his starters on offense in the fourth game of the uh, preseason if they don't look better here. Now, I realize that is to light a little bit of a fire under them. To be honest with you, you know, with Eli Manning, the way he uh, played last year off of the worst year of his career, you would think that he would have already had a fire lit under him and would have tried to make a little bit of a statement so far. The Jets' offense is legitimately struggling, and I follow those beat writers, and they have said that when the uh, Giants have tried to simulate the Jets' defense in practice this week, that the defense of the Giants dominated the offense, and especially the, the offensive line has uh, really struggled with uh, Will Beatty and Justin Pugh. They really struggled against a simulated Jets' defense. And in addition to what you've said, the you know, remember in week one I said that the Jets – they didn't have a quarterback controversy because Geno Smith was going to be the starter. Now, you know, Rex Ryan, they, they don't want to officially announce him as a starter. And the reason is because Geno Smith hasn't looked like a starting quarterback. I would be shocked if he isn't the starter in week one. But the truth is, I don't really think the Jets have a starting quarterback. Mike Vick, solid player, nice to have as a backup. But I think his days as a starter, or, uh, as an effective starter, are behind him. The Jets' offense is not impressive at all. The Giants' offense is not impressive at all. I'm, if anything, maybe a little bit worried about some either defensive touchdowns or maybe each team's defense, given their offense, good field position here. So this is one of those I definitely like the under, and my biggest worry is that it could be the defenses that could put the game over the total. But no, we agree the under is the play. Okay, official play for this one under 42 and a half. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks so much.